Hello y'all, in this video I want to show you how to properly tune your amp, uh, your tube amp in this case. Uh, so you will need three things, an amp, a ray, which will be the exciter, and a dummy load slash watt meter, okay? So if you have those three things, you will be able to follow me on this video. Let's jump on it. So the way I have everything connected here is the exciter, that would be my rig, my Yaesu FTDX 3000, it's a solid state rig, that is connected to this amp, okay? And the output of this amplifier is connected to a one kilowatt dummy load. Uh, having in mind also that uh, you need uh, a soft key, it's called, that's an interface in between this amp and your solid state or modern rig, uh, so you can properly key it. Um, so th that key, that interface is called a buffer. So I have that in place. Uh, it's a little box that I can show you uh, later on. Uh, and also I have an inbrush protector for uh, for the amp, also it's called a soft start that will uh, protect the power supply of the of the amplifier. The exciter is set now to be at five watts. Always load at your minimum output power on your rig. Okay, the exciter. Remember, uh, set your exciter at the lowest uh, output power. In this case, is uh, five watts and the transmission mode is going to be CW so every time that I uh, key the PTT it's gonna it's gonna be like a key down all right that's gonna give you like a maximum transmit power um, so the very first thing that is that check your power then check your frequency uh, right now I'm on 20 meters I'm on 14 megahertz so I should set the band knob right here to 20 meters. So we forget about this knob uh, from now on, that's it. Now we're gonna look into these two other knobs which are load and tune. Okay, so now I'm gonna set the knob to relative power here, it's in the middle, and I'm gonna adjust the, the sensitivity of this knob to a minimum, uh, a medium level. And after I do that, I'm gonna key down the transmitter, the exciter, and I'm gonna see a deflection here on the meter. Okay, no deflection, so we need to start tuning. I'm gonna increase the power sensitivity and I'm gonna start playing with this knob in the vicinity of the bond marks we have here. So if I'm in 20, I'm gonna start from there, but I'm gonna be way off, you're gonna see. And meanwhile, I turn the knob, I'm gonna see a deflection on this meter. So my goal is to find the combination be between these two knobs in order to have the maximum output power. Remember, this is relative power. You're not seeing here like exactly how much power you're uh, having out. You're gonna be reading that with your um, with, with your dummy load or watt meter at the end of the, uh, at the output of the amplifier. So what we're doing right now, it's relative power, okay? So I'm gonna start playing with this knob. I'm gonna key down, see? And what I'm gonna do now is increase the sensitivity of the meter so I can I can see more, I can play around a little bit more, I have more wiggling room, let's say. Oh, that was too much. There you go. So now I okay. I find I found my maximum peak down there. Now once I found the maximum peak with this knob, I'm gonna start with this one down see how it changes okay it seems th that's the peak an advice that I received is that once you find the maximum output power peak uh, 
you need to uh, play with this uh, knob, the load knob, and turn it down a little bit, just a little bit, so the power decreases about a little bit, 10% uh, more or less, that will put you, that will make the, the amp work good, so you're not splattering. Uh, so that's something to have in consideration. Well, as you saw, it's not that complicated, but you need somebody to tell you how to do it. That, that would be like the preferred way to do it. Uh, always remember, to summarize, it would be to find your maximum output power with the relative power knob. You know, you set it on relative power and you find your maximum power output. Once you found it, you turn down the load a little bit, so the power decreases a little bit, uh, around 10%. That will be like the sweet point. And then you turn these knobs and you check that you are within the proper ranges and current, play current and grid current. And also, if you want, you can check how's your, uh, your voltage. Right now, it's 2400 almost. It drops a little bit, it drops to... 2000, 2100, yeah, that's, I, I've read that that's normal. Okay, I'm gonna start increasing the power on the exciter. So right now I'm on five watts and I'm gonna put it on 10 watts. Keying down, it's a hundred and something. I always wanna check this grid and plate current that I don't overdo it, so we're fine. I'm going to increase it now to 20 watts. With 20 watts, I'm having 200 watts and we're still in the, in the good areas. SWR, perfect. Okay, I'm going to go to uh, 40 watts. 40 watts, ooh, see the grid. 40 watts, it's 300 watts and I need to work on the load. See, I work on the load and I decrease it, I put it in, in the proper white area. And now I'm with 300 watts. Okay, I'm gonna increase the power a little bit more. I'm gonna go to 60 watts. Okay, 60 watts, I'm overdoing it. So I turn this knob down. There you go, 500 watts I'm having. You can't see it, but I'm, I'm looking at the watt meter right now. I, I just wanted to focus on the tuning procedure on, of the amp. Um, so always check this. I didn't know about this. And a very wise man on QRZ told me about uh, the grid current to take a peek on it. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, I, I wouldn't use it more than this. Like I, I wouldn't put more power out of the of this amp with, to be honest, 500 watts, 600 watts, it doesn't make uh, much of a difference. But I'm gonna increase the, ex the excited power to 80 watts just to, uh, for testing purposes and see how it responds. I'm gonna decrease this. Yes, it's five, a little bit more than 500 watts and that's it, I don't wanna push it anymore. The, the amp, it's gonna work in, in great shape if you don't overdo it, like 500 watts. It's uh, a great improvement from being barefoot with 100 or any kind of power that you're running. Uh, so, well, that was it. That was the, the tuning procedure of the heat kit SB200 for those who are new to this tube world and amplifier world. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, please do, and I will be happy to answer them. 73s.